Hello, welcome back to the dev server once again. Now we're flying out a new tier 4 uh, Japanese plane that's going to be released in 1.43, and it is the J7W1 Shinden, or known, better known, Bright, Bright Lightning in English. It is a Japanese single engined high speed short range interceptor, interceptor manufactured by Kyuchu, which was formerly known as uh, Watanabe. Yeah. It was made to satisfy the requirements of the naval specification number 18C, uh, and equipped with the Mitsubishi MK90 HA43 Type 2 42 engines. Yay. The first prototype of this aircraft was flown in uh, August, uh, the 3rd of August, 1945, and it made a total of three test flights with a total air time of about 30 to 45 minutes. Later, the aircraft was taken to the United States for research, and the second prototype was incomplete. It was captured by the Americans as well. After its restoration, it was uh, after its restoration was completed by the U.S. A series of tests were conducted at the Parks Ridge facility. The aircraft received the official U.S. designation FE-326. Of course, this is uh, the Japanese version, so in the Japanese tree, not in the American tree, although who knows, we might see this premium at some point. Gaijin, looking at you. Hopefully not, we have enough premiums. Make it a gift aircraft, that'd be cool. Make us unlock it somehow. Anyway, um, it looks very nice. Now, unlike the other Japanese planes that are being released, um, this one has a cockpit, and it looks pretty awesome. Now, uh, doesn't seem to be as many dials as on most other planes, but it'll do. And it looks pretty roomy. I don't think I would feel uh, very claustrophobic sitting in this one. Now there's uh, some tanks right behind you. Not quite sure what those are for. If anyone knows, please let me know. And it's got an interesting design because it's got the propeller at the back. And it's got tiny wings at the front, or if you'd even call those wings control surfaces and uh, don't let anyone get on your tail because they will shoot your engine out. Now, the Americans have something similar to this, it's the XB-55 and uh, it's the Ascender or better known by some as the Ascender. Yeah, if someone gets behind you they'll shoot your propeller out, they'll shoot your engine out and you won't be able to do much. Now head-ons this thing might give you an advantage. Anyway, I'm going to fly it around, try it out. I'm going to put the stat card up on the screen right now. Um, according to the stat card as it is right now, it's going to cost 120,000 RP to unlock and uh, cost 360,000 silver lines to do so, along with 100,000 silver line crew train cost. It's, according to the stat card, has a max speed of 632 kilometers an hour, and there we go, up into the air. Didn't think we could take off for a second there. See how the gears retract into the aircraft itself. It looks nice. Now this thing has uh, four 30 millimeter Type 5 cannons, which uh, the R2-Y2s have as well. Of course they have 600 rounds of ammunition. On this plane you have a mere 240. But if you aim your shots well, that shouldn't be an issue. Now, as I've said before in my other videos, take the dev server with a grain of salt. Do not go on the forums raging about how the aircraft doesn't perform like it's historically supposed to. It's the dev server. These planes can have temporary flight bombs, temporary sat cards. Really, you're looking more at what it looks like, and the ornament, and what it sounds like, what the cockpit looks like. Not how it flies. Let's try the cannons. Ooh, it sounds the exact same as the other planes, because it's the same, uh, with the same cannons. Now what I am interested in is looking at how it sounds with the cockpit, because the R2-Y2s don't have a cockpit, so here we go. It's the like same exact sound, almost. Come on, pull up. Oh, it sounds similar. Okay. This plane does have a funky flight model right now. Um, it either pulls up very quickly or it doesn't pull up at all. So I'm going to press S right now. 
and it just kind of bobs up and down. Looks nice. I wonder how many times I'm going to get confused as to why my aircraft is flying backwards. Here, you'll get it like this. <laughs> oh, it looks like it's falling backwards into the sky. Or into the ground. Uh, yeah, so that's a little look. The brand new J7W1 uh, Bright Lightning for the Japanese tree. It's very nice. It looks funky. But it's got four nose mounted 30mm machine gun, not machine guns, cannons, uh, Type 5. So it should do very, fairly well in realistic battles and whatnot. I'm interested to see if this is going to be the final flight model it's getting or if they're going to update it some more. But anyway, wait, are those wheels at the back? Can I land on these things? I think those are wheels. That's interesting. Let's try to land on that before we end the videos. Check to the side here, slow our speed. No air brakes, figures. Okay, okay, okay. And pull up. Come on. Let's land on only those rear things. Uh, no, those are trees. Okay. Land, darn you. Oh, okay, that works. Excellent. I knows I didn't need you anyway. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, if you thought it was informative, please remember to uh, comment, rate, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. If you want to know something, if you have questions, if you have suggestions, leave a comment in the description. Uh, leave a comment down below. And I do read every single one of them. I'll get back to you. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.